Linear algebra is the most useful thing you'll ever learn. If you meet someone who says otherwise, that means they either never learned linear algebra or they never learned it properly. Linear algebra will blow your mind and change the way you think. This video is the start of a course on practical linear algebra. I think a lot of people find linear algebra to be confusing, pointless, or boring. And that's because the subject is usually poorly taught. Professors spend too much time going over definitions and proofs and small theoretical details. Teaching math precisely and correctly is important, but when you spend all your time on theory and mathematical formalisms, you kill all the fun. I think it's better to start out with interesting applications so that you actually have an idea of why you'd want to study linear algebra in the first place. Once you've got that initial interest, then the motivation for studying all the gory mathematical details comes naturally. This course is a remedy for this situation. Maybe you took one or two linear algebra courses and hated it. Maybe you're taking a linear algebra course right now and you've got no clue what's going on. Maybe you're a professional looking to build a strong math foundation. Or maybe you've never taken linear algebra before and this is your first exposure. If you're any of these people, you're in the right place. Let's start out with why you should even care about linear algebra. First of all, it's fucking useful. So many problems can be solved with linear algebra. I work in robotics, computer vision, and IoT, and I use linear algebra every day. It's incredibly useful in science and engineering, and it's useful even in other fields like finance. Second, linear algebra is super interesting. It opens up your mind to new ways of thinking. The truth is, I used to hate math before I learned linear algebra and its applications. Linear algebra is very satisfying, intellectually stimulating, and even beautiful. Lastly, linear algebra shows up everywhere. Even now, I find applications for linear algebra in new places. Also, don't let the word linear in linear algebra trip you up. Linear algebra can be used to solve nonlinear problems too. A simple change of variables can often make what seems to be a nonlinear problem suddenly linear. What's even more amazing is that if you come across a problem that really is nonlinear, you can use linear algebra to find an approximate solution. You might not find the best solution, but linear algebra will often get you so close that it's good enough. All this means that linear algebra can be applied to a wide variety of problems. Let me quickly give you a taste of some of these applications. Artificial intelligence is one obvious application. I don't need to tell you that machine learning and deep learning have exploded in popularity over the past 10 years. Neural networks and other tools can be represented as vectors and matrices, so linear algebra lies at the core of machine learning theory. If you spend any time learning machine learning theory, you'll quickly come across a lot of linear algebra and matrix calculus. And that can turn a lot of people away from the field. But don't let that scare you. Once you've learned it, linear algebra is actually much easier to deal with than the ordinary elementary algebra you used in high school. Yes, that's right. Linear algebra actually makes things easier. After all, that's why people use it. Computer vision is a great application and one that I personally use every day. Think about it. An image is just a rectangular grid of pixels, where each pixel contains a number representing its color. So, an image is just a 2D matrix. And a video is just a series of images one after another. So a video is just a 3D matrix. Anything you can do with matrices you can do with images and video. Robotics is another great application. If you have a robotic arm, for example, you can figure out what commands you need to send to each of the motors in the arm to get the hand at the end of the arm to go to where you want it to go. It might not be clear how useful matrices can be here because of the different joints and links in the arm rotate. Rotation usually makes things non-linear. But with a clever change of variables, you can make this linear and you can express everything with matrices. Now, there are still lots of nonlinear problems in robotics that can't be solved with 
simple linear algebra, but you can still get a whole lot done. And those more complex problems benefit greatly from linear algebra methods. Computer graphics and game development are applications I'm sure a lot of people are interested in, myself included. Computer graphics involves taking 3D models and displaying them accurately as 2D images. It's closely related to computer vision, geometry, and cameras. Linear algebra is really important in graphics and game dev because it makes things very fast. Fast enough to have real-time games. If you study graphics, you'll realize just how much math is involved. And without a strong linear algebra background, you'll get lost very quickly. Finance is another really interesting application. Markowitz Portfolio Theory is a mathematical framework people use to find the optimal weights of different assets in a portfolio. What I mean by that is, imagine you have five stocks you want to invest in. Each of these stocks has particular statistical properties. Some stocks are very stable and don't change much day to day. Other stocks are very volatile and swing wildly from low to high over short periods of time. Some stocks grow or decline at different rates compared to others. Markowitz Portfolio Theory combines linear algebra and statistics to find the best possible way to split up your cash across those five stocks. The last application I want to mention is spacecraft control. This is actually pretty similar to robotics because you're controlling a machine and you've got to deal with position, velocity, rotation, you know, statics and dynamics from physics. You can do some really crazy and unintuitive stuff with linear algebra, like finding the optimal way to land a space shuttle, how to land reusable rockets, and how to dock space vehicles onto space stations or satellites. This is just a small sample of all the areas where linear algebra is regularly used. Throughout the course, we'll go over some concrete examples related to the applications I just mentioned. Here's a quick overview of what you'll learn in this course. We'll start out with vector and matrix properties so that you'll get comfortable with them and see how useful it is to express problems using vectors and matrices. Next, we'll explore least squares, which is a widely used technique that can solve probably 80% of the engineering problems you'll ever encounter. That's right, 80%. Least squares is used everywhere. After that, we'll move on to QR decomposition and eigenvectors before finally getting to singular value decomposition, which is literally the most important thing you will ever learn. I'm serious. I use SVD every single day. It's crazy to see how many places this technique pops up. But don't get me wrong. We won't just talk about theory. After every major concept, I'm going to show you how to use that concept in Python on real world applications. We'll use Python libraries like NumPy and you'll gain real practical skills. The code we'll write together will be just like the code I write every day at work. Now that you know what we're going to cover, let me tell you why this course will be different. We're only going to cover what's absolutely essential. We're not going to delve into minutia, we're just going to go over what you really need to know. We'll also build intuition and understand concepts visually. Just spraying a bunch of math on paper is not going to help you out. you got to actually understand and have a feel for what's going on. The great thing about linear algebra is that it's very closely tied to geometry. So if you draw and doodle, you can actually figure out a lot of problems just that way. Also, we'll tie concepts to real-world applications and we'll keep things practical with Python programming. Let me tell you, this won't be your typical stuffy academic course. I'm going to explain concepts in a simple conversational way without dumbing things down. I'm going to show you that you can be rigorous without being dead boring. There's one last thing I want to go over. Why me? Why am I uniquely qualified to teach practical linear algebra? Well, I was a teaching assistant for a graduate level applied linear algebra course at Stanford. I wrote test problems, graded homework and exams, and held office hours and review sessions. Also, I've been using linear algebra in robotics, computer vision, and AI for years in industry. 
So I've got a solid grasp of both theory and application. Last but not least, I won't be boring. Trust me. I don't know what it is, but I've noticed that almost always when somebody goes up to give a lecture on some technical topic, they start spewing out all this jargon and they put on this weird affectation in their voice. I don't know why they do it, but that shit just puts me to sleep. I'll be using my normal voice, like a normal human being, because I think that's the best way to communicate. So let's just cut the fluff and let's just talk. If you're looking for a course like that, then this is the one. So that's it for the first lecture of this course. I hope I've shown you why linear algebra can be interesting and useful, and I hope I fixed any bad impressions you may have had of linear algebra from past experiences. Next up, we're going to talk about properties of vectors and matrices.